It's got all the right stuff. And I mean, this was a full-on factory race car when you bought it. Well, what kind of money is this car? 600. Woo. I mean, you know, that's a stupid number, but he might have said yes. You must have heard about the luxury spender, Richard Rawlings, from one reality TV show or the other. Yes, the same Richard Rawlings co-producing various TV shows. Aside from the controversies about Richard Online, he's one of the few big boys in the industry who doesn't hesitate to lavish his money and brag about it on vintage cars and others. Richard isn't just known to be a co-producer for shows like Monkey Garage, but he's also a car builder, which explains the number of luxury cars he has in his collection. Talking about the luxurious lifestyle of Richard Rawlings won't be complete without discussing what the road to success looks like. So let's get into it. So if this one brings a million, what's mine worth? 200, 250? <laughs> Richard Rawlings is an American entrepreneur who was born in March 1969. It's common knowledge that when it comes to automobile building, Americans lead the pack. Richard Rawlings is another example. He's the star of the reality TV show Fast and Loud, and the stunts he played on viewers by firing his top stars on the show made people know him as a show producer as well. Richard Rawlings fired Tom Smith and Jordan Butler on Fast and Loud before reinstating them to Misfit Garage, a stage show he explained after Misfit Garage kicked off. The motive behind this trick isn't far-fetched, creating awareness and driving traffic for the new show. Both shows are doing quite well on television, which means more money for Richard Rawlings. Richard is also the proprietor of Gas Monkey Garage and the Gas Monkey Bar and & Grill and Gas Monkey Live Music Venues in Dallas, Texas. Gas Monkey seems to be a trademark for his line of business, as rumor has it that there's a drink with such a name served at his Monkey Bar & Grill. Richard's luxurious lifestyle started in his teenage years when he explained that he bought his first car when he was 14. Being a lover of cars is different. We've seen stories of car designers that grew up loving cars, but they're not as rich as Richard, so that explains his luxury aspects. Richard was born in Fort Worth, Texas, and just like many other car designers, he followed his father to automobile shows, where he developed his passion for cars. This moved him to get his first car at a young age, and by 20, he had already graduated from Eastern Hills High School. By the time Richard graduated from school, he had already bought close to 20 cars, fixing them and selling them to make a profit. Flipping cars has been Richard's thing right from when he got his first car at 14. Flipping cars has remained his business even on Gas Monkey Garage, which is more of a trademark now with the new shows he's co-producing. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Rawlings has obviously struck on a very successful way of mixing business with pleasure. Richard, who had always wanted a luxurious lifestyle, knew he had to do a lot to get that lifestyle and started a business very early in life. Richard married his first wife, Karen K. Grames, in 1993, but divorced a year after. And in 1999, he started his printing and advertising company, Lincoln Press. That same year, he married another wife after his first divorce, Mary Mergell, but they divorced in 2009 before they remarried in 2015. Fast forward to 2019, Richard announced on Twitter that he and Mari are getting divorced again after reconciling in 2015. Aside from his printing and advertising business, Richard started Gas Monkey Bar & Grill in Northwest Dallas and a second location at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport opened in March 2014. Rawlings indicated a desire to open a third Texas location outside of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. In 2014, Richard was featured in national television commercials promoting Dodge vehicles and financing. Later that year, he opened Gas Monkey Live, a venue for live music only. Along the line, Richard also started a new restaurant venture, Richard Rawlings Garage. The first restaurant opened in Harker Heights, Texas in 2016, and it permanently closed in March 2019. Richard's various lines of business clicked, and this led him to have a hot rod shop that produced and shipped cars for clients from all over the world, along with the many cars that he found, bought, received, and restored. All these are the subject of the new Discovery Channel series, Fast and Loud. The show began airing in June 2012 and featured him and his co-workers, including Aaron Kaufman, Casey Matthew, and Scott McMillan. 
Richard Rawlings is a veteran of transcontinental road rallies. He twice won the Gumball 3000 and the Bull Run. He's a current world record holder in the Cannonball Run. Jay Leno even recognized him for his achievement after having broken the record that had stood since 1979. He had covered the 2,811 miles from New York to Los Angeles in 31 hours and 59 minutes with an average speed of 87.6 miles per hour. Truly, Richard started off with flipping cars, but he's not just capable of fixing, restoring, and modifying cars. He also has vast experience in customizing motorcycles as well. In fact, Richard once came second on a motorcycle build-off test featuring Fast and Loud cast member Aaron Kaufman, where he used his creative talent. Richard is an all-rounder, and Aaron Kaufman is an experienced mechanic who has worked for Global Motorsports Group, a company that modifies already outstanding cars to make them even more powerful and ready for motor racing events. Being a rich man with an estimated worth of $18 million isn't a joke, and that explains why Richard doesn't just work on cars for clients or some old cars to restore and sell, he also works on cars he bought for himself, which has led him to have one of the most impressive car collections. Perhaps the highlight of his collection is the oldest vehicle he owns, a 1932 Ford Hot Rod, which has been lovingly restored but with a few modern twists and a stylish custom paint job. Rawlings didn't restore this car to have it sitting around like a museum piece. Despite its advanced age, he still takes it out regularly for a drive. Richard Rawlings doesn't joke with his classic Ford, but the rest of his collections are pretty impressive as well. Richard owns several beauties, including a Ferrari F40, which Rawlings is clearly a connoisseur of classic cars, as many of the vehicles in his collection are from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. However, he does own one genuine antique as well, a Willys Overland touring car built in 1915, which the Gas Monkey Garage team had to almost rebuild from scratch. A full list of Richard Rawlings' car collection include a Ford Model T Custom King T, 1929 Ford Model A Tudor Sedan, 1930 Ford Model A Tudor Sedan, 1932 Ford 5 Window Coupe Hot Rod, 1936 Ford Model 68 Deluxe Roadster, 1937 Ford Model 78 Coupe, Curtis Style Midget Race Car, 302 Powered 1950 Ford Custom Deluxe Club Coupe, 1957 Ford F100 3 Speed, 350 Powered 1959 Chevrolet Corvette 3 Speed, 1962 Chevrolet Corvette, Modified 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback K-Code 5 Speed, 1966 Ford Fairlane 500 Hardtop, 1966 Ford Mustang GT Coupe 289 4 Speed, 1968 Ford Mustang Convertible, 1972 Oldsmobile Cut Last Supreme Convertible 6 Speed, 12,000 mile 1976 Jaguar XJ 12L Series 2 Sedan, 1978 Ford F 250 Ranger XLT Super Cab 4x4, 1979 Porsche 228 5 Speed, 500 mile 1986 Zimmer Quicksilver, 1987 Chevrolet R30 Chassis Cab Utility Truck, modified 2002 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 4x4, Ford Bronco Badlands V6 Four Door Easy Riders Custom Chopper, Roadster Shop Fast Track Stage 3 Chassis for C1 Corvette, and custom Harley-Davidson pan head chopper. Back in the days when Richard started flipping cars and selling his first business, which was the printing company to expand Gas Monkey Garage, he probably never thought he would be as successful as he is today. Prior to his motoring business and printing company, Richard had also engaged in some odd jobs like a firefighter in 1990. He was also working as a law enforcement officer and a paramedic, so he has enough to keep buying cars to restore and sell for profit. Richard was optimistic that he would make a living from his hobby, but he had no idea that he would have to wait for decades before his dreams would come true. Well, thanks to his zeal, passion, and dedication, many would have given up at some point, especially with the marriage crisis in between the struggles. Also, the high profile his business has achieved through the Fast and Loud TV series contributed massively to Richard's luxury lifestyle. Some websites reported his net worth around $18 million, while some reported it to be $15 million. Irrespective of both values, Richard earns a whopping sum of $50,000 per episode on each series he features in, coupled with his business. Richard Rawlings doesn't just boast of car collections, he has a mansion he bought in 2015 in Dallas worth $1.7 million. Adding up the worth of his cars, Richard will comfortably be one of the richest car restorers in America because the Mustang in his collection is estimated to be worth $27,000 and that isn't the most expensive car in his collection. 
Richard Rawlings' lifestyle might be tagged as a show-off to many who don't know his story, but as a car collector, he has to publicize his collection to attract sellers if he wants to auction them. So, what do you think about Richard's expensive car collections?